Hi, Jeff here. I want to talk to you today about leaving money on the table. Now, I was talking to a client yesterday who does, does telecoms, and um, he's got a load of mobile phone customers, and he's got some broadband customers. Um, but the, the, the guys having the mobile phone, they, most of them don't take up the broadband service. And he was telling me how um, he, you know, he didn't feel like he, he felt comfortable badgering them to, to upsell them onto this stuff. And um, funny enough, when he told me how many customers he had, I almost spat my drink all over him. I had a mouthful of a drink at the time because he had 6,000 of them, 6,000 mobile phone customers that didn't have his broadband package. Now, I know this, this business, I know those broadband packages are really good. Um, and they're much better than you'll be able to get from your local, from your, just upgrading my personal one actually, because I'm with Vodafone, hate Vodafone, crap customer service, moving me over to a much better package. And, and he felt that he didn't want to bother his customers. Now I suggested to him, he's actually really out of order, that he's got all those customers that trust him for his mobile phone and he's not bothered to tell them about how they could save money and get a better service with his, his broadband packages. So I told him that he needed to go and write to his customers and apologize for, um, for not letting them know about the other great products that he had. And he sent one email to his um, database of 6,000 people. And within one hour, he had about 15,000 pounds worth of business. Come back going, oh, didn't know you did that. Thanks very much, that's brilliant. Within 48 hours, he had 26,000 pounds worth of new business in for, through one email. Now that is what's called leaving money on the table. If you have got customers that have one product of you and you've got another product they could have, you must let them know because you're not serving your customers if you're not giving them the full breadth of your, of your, customer, of, of your product base. So do that immediately. It's the easiest people to sell to because they already like and trust you. And just to finish up on the story, what the great thing about um, this client as well is that when I asked him, um, he made £26,000 off one email, I asked him what the open rate was. He said 2%, which means 98% of those people hadn't read the email. So imagine how much is in there when we start following up on the phone or if we send some more emails with different subject titles to get those email open rates up how much more money that we'll be able to get that would have been left on the table otherwise. So have a think about where you might be leaving money on the table. And if you're not sure, give me a ring or drop me a message on social media or, or, or email me at jeffshrimpton at actioncoach.com and we can have a conversation about it. Bye for now.